Hello, hello, Joe. ¿Qué tal, Jose? Hello, pretty well. And you? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Yeah. That's good. How was your day? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very busy. Very busy, Jose. Welcome to class. Okay. Jose. Welcome to class. We're going to put it like that. Welcome to Wednesday. They also call it hum day. And they put a camel, right? Yeah. I don't know if you, have you heard that? Have you heard that they call it hum day? Hum day is... Um, como en el, como, it's the first time. Oh, it's the first time you hear hum, hum. day? Como la... Yeah, has visto, que los, has visto que los camellos tienen la joroba? Ajá. Uh -huh. well, well, they... They they say that it's like a hump day, por lo mismo, verdad? Porque uh, have you noticed that the camels are usually carrying stuff, and it's like, oh, it's the middle of the week, and so they say that it's hump day. Y usualmente cuando veas un meme, usualmente hay un camello uh -huh. que tiene que ver con hump day por la joroba, right? So if you see it like that, uh. <laughs> Wednesday, oh, oh, okay. Wednesday, va. All right. Well, yeah. let's see. Let's see who's who's coming in to the class. Uh, oh, so Jose, how was your day? Well, a little busy too. <laughs> nice. Um, in the afternoon, I went for shopping and pay bills. Oh, okay. You know, um, you... the weather here is so hot. <laughs> right, right, right. Where where do you live, Jose? In Usulután. Usulután. Okay. You know, I had to go to Usulután maybe two weekends ago. I went to the park where there's a big church. ¿Cómo, cómo se llama? El... Yeah. Creo que está la par de la alcaldía, fíjate. What is the, what is the name? What is, uh, what is the name of that park with the church? Or is it just the church? Um, I not remember the name. Okay, like Francisco, okay. something like that. Okay, yeah, it, it does. It does. The name does ring a bell, and and we got off and we walked in the yeah. church, and then we went to you know walk around the. I think it's the alcaldía. I think I think that's what it is. It looks like a government building, and then yeah, we went. There to, is. We we went to Pollo Campero. Oh, imagine. Hasta Usulután fui para, com para comer pollo campero. Oh. <laughs> Chicken campero. El campestre is, is, is better. Pero fíjate que no encontré el campestre. <laughs> is, it, is it far from it's, the park or is it close? It's like a one kilometer. Oh, or, that's a... or, or less. Yeah. That wasn't so far. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Rafael, Pero welcome. Small. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jose. I'm sorry, Jose. What did you say? Uh, Usultan is small. The, the, the downtown is very small. Right. And, and I'll tell you something else, Jose. I went on a Sunday and everything was closed. All the stores. Yeah. Every, I was like, where is everybody? Porque era Usulután Centro y eh, there's a lot of stores, but they were all closed because it was Sunday. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. They really take it serious. <laughs> Go City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jarvin, hello, Jarvin, welcome. Iris, hello. Iris, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Gracias, gracias. Hello, welcome, welcome to Wednesday. We were talking to Jose about hump day. ¿Verdad? Por la jorobita que anda cargando el camellito. Hump day, the middle of the week. All right. Pero para nosotros, it's not really Wednesday. Para nosotros ya es Thursday. Because, if you guys would remember, we come to class Monday through Thursday. So, 
para nosotros el día de hoy es viernes chiquito, ¿va? Jueves de amigos. And then tomorrow is going to be our Friday, right? And then we can celebrate. It. So, but but you guys got to, you know, you gotta control yourself, control yourself. How is everybody doing? Rafael, how was your day? It has been a little bit easy because I always take another, other other courses during the day. Nice, okay. Um, yeah, I, am, I have planned classes um, for my subjects and I've been practicing. As great. As I can. That is great to hear. Rafael, practice makes perfect. Yeah. Right? The more you practice, the better it is for you. Yeah. Iris, how is your day? How was your day? Good evening. Good uh, evening. Yeah. Hello. My my day it was a little boring because I'm I am in a inventory in the office. Oh, okay, okay. But that you know, boring is okay from time to time, Iris. Boring yes. is okay. <laughs> Thank drink a lot that. of coffee today. There, there we go, right? Those are the benefits. Those are the benefits. <laughs> All right. Jarvin, Jarvin, hello. Welcome. Jo Josue, Joshua, te iba a decir. Josue, Josh, welcome. Daniela, welcome. Maricela, welcome. We're talking about our days, how good, how bad, how medium, right? Jarvin, how was your day? How was your day today? I think it was a little bit busy because I have a lot of work in my job. Oh my goodness. ¿Te acordás? ¿Te acordás, Harvin, cuando cuando pusiste el, el niño de Atoche y le diste vuelta y le dijiste, Diosito mío, dame el I trabajo. <laughs> right? I want to work. I want to work yes. a lot. And and then guess what happened? Jarvin, guess what happened? <laughs> I have a lot of work. You have to Yeah, you know, I, I heard people say be careful what you ask for. You might just get it okay. right Jarvin all right good good to hear good to hear um a ver Josue can you hear me okay Josue Josh Josh there we go Josue good evening how was your day my friend it was nice I do some some good things in my work Oh, that's nice to hear. Wonderful. All right. Well, I'm happy to hear that. A ver, vamos a Ma Maricela. Hola, Maricela. Buenas. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. How was your day, Maricela? Everybody froze. No. Is that my internet? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Oh my God, hello again. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, hello. guys. Hello, can you, I can hear you. I can hear Maricela, I miss. Yes. I told you a lot of things and you can hear oh, me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know you what? You miss my, my English. You, you, <laughs> you, know, you know what, Maricela? This is what I did. I left the Zoom recording. So everything you said has been recorded. So don't worry about okay. it. I'm going to look at the video later I on. <laughs> All right. Uh, as an overall, was your day good? Or was it eh? Um, good, but I feel so tired. Okay, all right, so yeah. I, Not, yeah, yeah. But I'm you know, here. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely understand how you feel, Marisa. I completely understand. And thank you okay. for being here. All right, let's see. Daniela, mm -hmm. hello, Daniela. Daniela. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How was your day? I was busy. 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 Okay. Busy. All right. All right. And that's always good. Remember that the busier you are, you know, it keeps your your mind.
from yes. going anywhere else. So it's always good to stay busy. All right, nice to hear that. A ver, Max, welcome. A ver, vamos a ver. Luis, Luis Enrique. Good evening, teacher. Fíjate que me imagino, cada vez que, cada vez que digo Luis Enrique, me imagino una cancioncita como una novela, right? Luis Enrique, tan, tan, tan. Y todo voltean, right? No, right? teacher. It's, it's like a salsa. Yo no sé mañana. That's, yeah, that, you could do it like that. Luis, my friend, how was your day? Uh, it was very busy. Okay. A lot of things that I did. That I do, that I did. That is nice to hear. Were you able to complete everything that you wanted to do for the day? Um. Yes, I'm right. able to to sharing with you if you want. Well, you know, if if you tell me that you complete that everything was complete, I am going to believe you, Luis. Okay. Ay, así todo metido. ¿Y qué te pasó, Luis? ¿Y qué te pasó? Contame. All right. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for that, Luis, and happy to hear. Uh, Max, how was your day, my friend? Hello, teacher. He hello, hello. Good evening. I've been uh, a busy bee today, too. Oh, my goodness. That is nice. But there's always something left for tomorrow. There is always something left for you know what i like that yeah max you know you don't want to do everything today because then tomorrow you're going to be bored i like that i like that all right nice to hear max nice to hear um fabiola hello fabiola hello welcome hello welcome welcome how was your day fabiola Fine, I think. It's a, okay, all right. And were you able to complete everything that you wanted to complete today? No. Oh, okay, all right. Well, there's always tomorrow, right? Yes. All right, excellent. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Did I miss anybody? No, I think we got everybody, right? We got, um, actually we were speaking with Jose and I actually had a really long conversation right before everybody joined in. So we already, we already covered Jose, right? No vayan a pensar que lo estoy olvidando, jamás, jamás. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, so for today, actually, I don't know if you guys have noticed that the, the first week, uh, day one was the introduction Day two, we started looking and talking about some of the items that we were working on on our platform. And so today we're going to follow, uh, you know, what we were doing. We're going to take it a little, a, a little further because what I wanted to do with you guys is do a couple of exercises within the module. And then that way, uh, you know, we kind of get like maybe accustomed to doing it and because the platform is just so important for your certification that I want to take some of that time and put it into the class. And if we can use the whole class to be able to do it, then, you know, it's okay. We, we, can, we can always um, cover any, anything else uh, in later uh, or actually in future model, modules. Um, what I was thinking, um, was that we focused on the platform during this whole first week because we just, we, you know, we have to just get the stuff done and get it moving and incorporate the live worksheets and the presentations later on along with some of the stuff from the platform. And then that way, you know, we kind of, you know, we keep always moving and it's not boring. I don't, I don't want to bore you guys to death. So with that, I wanted to touch base and review the platform with you guys and, and kind of, you know, take it from there. Where are you guys? How are you guys doing? Um, how advanced have you gotten? Have you gotten any work done on the modules? I, I believe somebody mentioned that they were really ahead uh, on the first section yesterday. I want to ask you guys today, did you guys have a chance to work on the modules and the sections? 
in my case personally, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, all right. But when I get the time to sit down for a couple of hours, I believe I can finish it. Oh my goodness, Max, too much, too much time. Each of the modules are really short. The sections are really short. And so what you can do is you can take, you know, 15, 20 minutes and you can really cover a lot in 15 or 20 minutes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of navigate through it. We're going to take a little bit longer because we're going to talk it out. But but if you guys are doing it on your own, they're actually pretty short. So hang in there, Max. Hang in there, right? Hang in there. So, teacher, what happened is that the, the platform always has uh, some mistakes. It's oh, mistakes sometimes, and, and it's hard to finish them because they are all marked as uh, wrong answers. Oh, my. Okay. I get that. Um, do me a favor. Well, then this, I think, is for everybody. If you guys get any of those, you guys can post them on the WhatsApp group. And there is a person from IT that usually is also watching. If they don't answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward that message on a like you know on a personal message to the IT person to see if we can get it solved. Um, so apologizing, uh, you know, for anything that you guys might see, please let me know, and then let me see if I can escalate it and get it fixed. Okay. All right, Iris, how how are you doing? How are you doing with the sections? Yeah, I I don't have uh, much time. I okay. I, uh, I in the, the break time okay. I entered the, the platform today, and I can uh, listen the rest of the conversation about Alan and Carol. Okay, and all right. The next uh, I do the exercise about the time classes. Okay, but, but for me it is um. It's a good exercise because I, I, I don't remember exactly about the time classes okay. and I take my time only in this exercise. All right. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Remember, remember the certification, you get it from doing the exercises, the sections and the modules. So, so if you guys are getting some of that work done, then it's okay. Um, section one and two actually takes us two weeks right um and what we can do is actually we can actually go into you know week number three and still and still be on section one and two because sections three four and five we can finish in the last two weeks of of, of the class so it, it's no problem what i do recommend is to try to get that done so that you guys can, you know, can quickly see them, right? Go into the objectives, go into whatever we're, we're trying to see. And then if you have the time and you can sit down, then watch the videos. All right, so what we're gonna do also in class, I wanna help you with that. And I wanted to touch base and I wanted, you know, to kind of get some of that work done. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And you guys let me know. Let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share sound this time around because we're going to, I want to play some videos back for you guys. All right, so here we go. Can everybody see my screen okay? Move it around here. Yes, teacher. Bit. We can yes, see it. Yes, teacher. All right, cool. So now we click on section number one and the videos, right? Well, the first video that comes up is the intro video. And the idea behind this video is for you guys to listen to a conversation. And in this conversation, it's a two-way conversation. So one person is telling a story and then the other person is kind of asking what happened, you know, and, and, and asking for explanation. So we're I not gonna- scary. <laughs> Right? Because it's a scary story. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna move, we're not gonna listen to this one, but I wanted to show you guys how it begins. You click play. Please remember that the videos, you do have to watch them completely for in order for you guys to get the little check mark. All right. So once you guys have seen that, you guys can click on next. And it starts with the lesson objectives here, right? Participants will listen to a conversation. And then so you click next. And so this is the portion. I was really immature is the first exercise that we did. And we did this one together, right? Yes. I was really immature. Really immature. 
and we did the quick role play and we were able to work out the role play. All right, so this one we did together. And because we did that one together, I'm gonna go ahead and click next on this one. We move on to lesson number 1.2. And this one is supposed to be subordinating conjunctions, but like Max pointed out, there is some issues with uh, the exercises themselves. This one, it is a time I know that video. Silly, but it was because what it's doing, it's talking about specific times, right? And so we are able to use it in terms of the time clauses so that you guys can listen on how to kind of go back in time and say when I was, you know, when I was 10 or uh, in 1997 or when I was in high school, those are things that you can use and those are classified as time clauses. Now, the exercise that comes after that is this one here. Now, what we ask you to do in the knowledge check for this one is a little bit different than what the video is saying. This one, what we ask is for you guys to think about the time clause by the time I was 15 and for you guys to choose an option that makes the most sense. Which option makes the most sense? And then so you are supposed to choose one from here and they're supposed to be paired up. So. The time clause that we're using here is by the time I was 15. And we have a list. I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. I learned how to communicate better. I realized I wasn't a child anymore. I had learned how to take care of myself. I learned how to get along better with people. I had never saved any money and I hadn't understood the importance of good health. And so from here, you have to choose. Now, usually we get either a video or an audio. And based on the video or the audio, we can come back over here and we make the selection. Now, for this one, I am not 100% sure because it doesn't match what's on the video before it. So what we are going to do is we're going to kind of skip this one for now on in class. I'm going to escalate it to our IT. And then based on what they tell me, I'm going to come back and we're going to review it tomorrow. Now, I, I was able to get some answers, right? But they don't match what's on the video. So, so I think that maybe there's, there's like a portion that's missing and that's what we're gonna find out, okay? But that is going to be, if, if there is an issue and we are able to fix it, that is going to be the method for you guys uh, to complete this exercise. You read it and then you match it, right? To what was, or what is the closest, or how, what makes the most sense. By the time I was 15, for example, I had learned how to take care of myself, okay? okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna hold off on this one, and we are going to move past it to next. Now, this one does work. And I want us to do this exercise together. And I want you guys to kind of help me along with, you know, reading and choosing. If you guys have already completed, then, you know, please let, let, let me know. And then that way we can go directly into it. So what is this exercise about? Well, be careful with this one because these exercises with audio, they give you, uh, they give you an error. And usually the error has to do with you doing or pressing play. You have to go into it and then right away you have to click play or else it doesn't work. 
Right now I'm trying to press it and it didn't work. So what can you I do? All right, so there's one. You have to wait until a little hen, a little hen appears. I completely agree with you, Raf. Actually, I saw the little hand, I moved it away, and then it disappeared. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click back, and then I'm going to re-enter the section. And then this time, I'm going to be really careful with it. I'm going to begin playing. Let me know if you guys can hear it. There it is. Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Can you guys hear? Important events. Part A. Yes. Yes. Listen to three people describe yes. important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. All right, let's go with Sally. I mean, what was the turning point for Sally? She, she learned English, Spanish. Spanish. She, learned Spanish. she learned she learned Spanish. <laughs> All right, let's put she learned, she learned Spanish. Spanish. How many languages had she learned? Uh, she learned um. Italian, Germany, and Korean, uh, I remember. Um, a lot of languages, right? That's a lot. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Spanish, English, Italian, English, Italian German, Korea. Korean. Five, five Korean. Language. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay. How about Henry? What was his turning point? He, he and his brother went to a different college. He and his brother went to a different college, okay? And Debbie, what was Debbie's turning point? She was the top student, uh, student in her class. He was, was the, top the top student in her class. All right, okay. All right, we're moving ahead to part two. And here we go. Oh, are there? Oh, you almost had it. Oh, let me see how we can. Uh, there it is. Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. 
One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise. All right, all right, we're ready, we're set. Okay, so in this exercise, the turning point, what effect did it have on him or her? So for Sally, she learned. Yeah, became yes, yes, Maria. Confident and in, in the independent. In, Independent, independent. Be became confident and independent. Proud, proud of. No, 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 no it's the second one. It's Felt the second one. Felt proud of. Felt proud of. All right, we're gonna test. We're gonna test. Felt proud of. But in case it doesn't work, Maria, let me tell you that we're gonna go back and we're gonna switch it up. Okay, we're gonna try. Felt proud of. Henry, what happened to Henry? Became more confident, confident and independent. independent. Ah, okay. So let's put this one on here. Became more confident and independent. And then last, Debbie. And became looking at a Became, okay. Let's try that out. Became a lot of more of okay. going. How do we feel about the answers? Do we feel good? Do we feel confident? Or do we think that we're going to get a couple of these wrong? How do you guys Confidence. feel? Confidence. Confidence. Confident? Confidence. All right. Let's go ahead and click submit. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay. And oh, all way. right. Yes, so we, we, we got 100%. it. We got it. We got 100 <laughs> on this one. I have, a, I have a question. Question, Raf? Yeah. About the last. Could you okay. put it, please? Definitely. Yes, because I'm I'm watching that the word outgoing is it's fourth, right? Going without. So I remember that I've already re read this word, but uh, as only one as unique word, as one word, outgoing. Okay. All right. So, um, well, so here's the thing: you can you can put it as one word, which is outgoing. Right, and okay. here, here okay. in this particular case, they actually split the words, so they put outgoing, and, and you, outgoing. yeah, that that mm -hmm. you got it, you got it. it. It's actually it should be one word. It's a compound word, and it should be outgoing. And I think that they put it they put it like this 
uh, because if you put it together, sometimes some of the spell checks, they'll tell you that it's, it's pro you know, sometimes they'll, it'll come up as being wrong. But, but you're right, Raph. It, it should okay. say outgoing with one word, outgoing, right? It's a compound okay. word, outgoing. Okay. So you got it, you got okay. it. However, the system in this particular case, it, it does accept it, right? Okay. And if you are writing it, um, and if you actually put it in a phrase, the system will also accept it. So you can either put it like this, which is outgoing, two separate words, or you can use one as a compound word and then just create or just write it down as one big word, outgoing, right? Outgoing. Okay. Became a lot more okay. outgoing. You could do it like that. <laughs> We're good. We're good, Raph. Good. All right. Okay. So we're moving from 1.5. Well done, everybody. Well done. By the way, Maria, I didn't get to welcome you. Welcome to class. I'm sorry about that. But now that you're here, welcome. Thank you. But my name is Madeline. Madeline. Okay. Madeline. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. In your um, in your Zoom camera, it says Maria Araya. Araya. Okay. Um, my name is Madeline Araya. Madeline. Okay. I will nice make. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. All right. So we're in lesson one point six, and then here we begin to discuss behavior and personality. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about adjectives. So let's go ahead and get into that video. And then I want you guys to prepare because I am going to ask you these three questions, okay? So look at, look at the three questions that come up. These are the ones that I'm gonna ask you guys. All right, here we go. Here's the video, really short. Honest as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Oh, really nice words. I like these words. All right. I'm going to ask you guys to repeat after me. And you can do it with your microphone on or you can do it with your microphone off. It's totally okay. Here we go. Follow, follow the teacher. Ambitious. 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 Argumentative. 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 Carefree. 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 Conscientious. Conscientious. Naive. 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 Pragmatic. 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 Rebellious. 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 Sensible. 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 Sophisticated. 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 Okay. Love the words. Remember the vocabulary, right? Whenever you're having a conversation, the more words you know, the better it is for you. However, please be careful in choosing your words. If you choose a word like ambitious, you have to be able to pronounce it correctly. Right? Don't choose a really big word that you're going to have problems with uh, when you are pronouncing it because what's, what's going to happen is it's going to take away from your conversation. Instead of, you know, instead of adding positive vibes to it, it might create a negative vibe. So be careful with that. And what I always recommend is whenever you guys see these big words, try to voice them out. Try to practice, practice them as much as you can. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to uh, we're gonna listen to our peer say them, and then we're gonna do it again. All right, so here we go. Okay. Argumentative. Oh, hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Here we go. Ambitious, argumentative, 
carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Nice. There we go. Okay. So for some of these words, ambitious. Ambitious. En español sería ambicioso. Ambicioso, ambicioso, ¿verdad? En el trabajo, ay, qué ambicioso él. Okay. Uh, he's ambitious, right? Sometimes it could be positive, but if you are too ambitious, then it becomes negative, right? You have to have a balance. Okay. Argumentative. 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 A él le gusta, nosotros decimos que siempre le gusta pelear o siempre le lleva la contraria a alguien. Argumentative. Es, 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 ese sí le gusta pelear. So now, once again, you can be argumentative and it could be positive. But if you are constantly in this particular mode, it could be a negative. Nobody wants to be about nobody wants to be around somebody that's argumentative, right? Yo no quiero pasar peleando todo el rato. So then you know you, you try to get away from it because it's too much. So argumentative. Carefree. Oh, this one I like. Carefree. ¿Qué okay. creen ustedes que significa? Air frame. Air frame. Descuidado. Descuidado, descuidado. Como que, ay, mira, te va a, pe te va a pegar un carro. Ah, it's okay, que me pegue. Right? It's okay. Pobrecito el carro. Carefree. Carefree. Anda por el mundo, ay, bien descuidado, bien, ay, no le importa nada. La rosa, voy a, voy a, verdad, voy a, I'm going to stop and smell the roses. All right. Conscientious. Consciente, that could be it, yeah. So uh, a quick example, right? Um, I have a dog. I have a dog and I take out my dog for a walk. And when my dog goes to the bathroom, I have a little bag and I pick it up. I am being, what am I doing? What am I being? I am being conscientious. Eso. I am being conscientious of my neighbors, of the kids, of everybody that's around that might step on that, right? So I'm picking it up. Naive. Let's go with naive. Ay, él no sabe nada. He's so naive. ¿Cómo podemos decir? He's so naive. He's so naive. All right. In he doesn't All right. know. He doesn't know. Mm -hmm. he doesn't know. He does it, yeah. I, I mean, when you guys talk to somebody who's naive, really, they don't know. And and, and it happens, I don't know, I, I've been in classes where people throw jokes out y la persona no sabe absolutamente nada acerca de, por ejemplo, un meme o un chiste que anda en Facebook. They are completely naive and they oh, don't yeah. know what's going on. He's naive or he doesn't know, know it. They don't, they don't know, right? So you guys can say that. Ingenuo también creo que, que, creo que alguien me lo mencionó. All right, so those are things that you can say. Pragmatic. Have you guys ever heard of the word pragmatic? pragmatic. No, no. In Spanish, it's, it's actually very close to the Spanish version. Pragmatico. Oh, pragmatico. Pragmatico. Pragmatic. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys understand when you guys hear pragmatic? Pragmatic. Very practice. It's a person very practice. Every goal, right? Hands on. They, they, they like to do these things. So he's very pragmatic. That, usually that's how you refer to somebody. He's very practical. pragmatic. It's practical. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, Madeline. That's good. Pragmatic. Practical. ¿verdad? He can do it because he's very pragmatic. Rebellious. 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 Rebelde, fíjate Rebelde. que play, yo creo que pleitisto sería más el argumentative, el argumentative. rebellious, mm -hmm. rebellious sería un poquito más going towards, eh, por ejemplo, right, por ejemplo, eh, te dicen que te cortes el pelo a certain way y te dejas un mechón, por ejemplo, oh, he's being rebellious, ah, se está dejando ahí un mechón. Against, against. 
It's like a capricious Ay, person, a teacher. You, you como can, que vive muy a su manera. Ca, como capricioso. Yeah, you guys, uh, uh, vive a su okay. manera. Alguien le dijo, no te vayas a poner un tatuaje. Y lo primero que hizo, se puso un tatuaje aquí. Aquí, ver. Like he's rebelde. <laughs> rebelde. It's rebelde. my way. It's my way or the very, highway. Very capricious. <laughs> Caprichoso would be. Wait, wait. Opposite. Caprichoso would be. How can we say? Cap yeah, right. I, I think we we could say. Well, you know, I don't know if it fits under. Caprichoso. Caprichoso mm -hmm. would be stubborn. Capricious. Eh, lo que pasa es que cuando vos decís que alguien es caprichoso, you would you want to say stubborn. Creo que no hay, creo que capricious. Uh, I don't think, I don't think, mm, I don't know, it doesn't sound. I don't think it is. I, I, think, I think they're messing with us. I think they're messing with us. All right. How about sensible, though? Sensible. Is... Sensible. Yeah. It almost sounds like it might not even be a word, right? Que sensible es él. <laughs> it's, he's sensible. Now, sensible. you guys have to be very careful because some words, even though in Spanish they are very close, they might not mean the same thing, right? So in this particular case, we're looking at sensible. It might not be the same meaning as sensible. So, ojo con eso, ojo con eso, right? So, always, always kind of look it up before you guys start to use it. Um, let's go into sophisticated. Sophisticator is... Uh, sophisticator. Um, the, as, uh, people like uh, all uh, uh, of the money, money and jewelry and... Jewelry, yeah. Okay, so think of it. Think of it like. Think of it like this, Madeline. Let's say you get a haircut, right? Y, y nosotros decimos que sofisticada se ve ella. Mm -hmm. People look... that are neat. Okay, we can we can say we can say it like that. Um, usually, what I've heard, what I've heard is. I, get... I think sofisticated is like a. Como que tiene muy buen gusto, tal vez no cosas caras, okay. pero que yes, habla muy yes. bien, yes. que tiene que es que ver, es el look. Tema, okay. que es and como muy it, apropiado también. Cor, también, and, and like Madeline was saying, you have, you have the jewelry, yeah, se ve elegante, pero you, don't, you, you know, you don't want to use the same word, so, so what, what do you do? You're going to say, oh my goodness, that look, it's so sophisticated. Sophisticated. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And right, so. the meaning, the meaning of sensible is the same as the I was sentimental. Just, you know, let's let's see. This is what we're gonna do. So this is what I do, right? Let me mm -hmm. type it in here, and because sometimes, right? Hold on, I think I spelled it. I spelled it wrong. And then, oh, there it is, sensible. Sensible. Right. Showing the ability to make good decisions mm -hmm. and do things that will not make not problems. problems. Sensato. Oh. Uh, oh. So did no. it have anything to very, do with it? Very different. Very different. Yeah. It's other. There we very go. Different. So, sensible but in a good way. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah. So, the por meaning es, is different. Por eso, different. por eso les digo, en español, si alguien es sensible, what do we say? Mm -hmm. What do we think? Es sentido. Ah, ah, corazón ah, de pollo. Ah, <laughs> ah, the ability to make good decisions. Oh, there so. we go. Es yeah. sensato. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so the correct, the correct yeah. word for sensible yeah. would be sensato. sensato. Que es sensato, razonable también. Razonable, mm -hmm. sensato. And it's the ability to make Sen a good decision. Sensible. Oh. Sensitive. Sensible. Oh, sensitive sensi is sensible. Sí, correcto. Sensitive, ese es el de los feelings. Right? Oh, yeah. So if you want to talk about feelings, you want to talk about sensitive. Ah, he's so sensitive. ¿Por qué? Porque se pone a ver una película y comienza a chillar, va. Ay, qué, ay, qué, ay, qué lindo. All right. All right. So I wanted to show you. Right? right? So I wanted to show you guys. Look, 
you guys are going to come and you guys are going to hear words that sometimes they sound very similar to some of our words in Spanish. Pero no caigan en esa trampa. Tengan, tengan mucho cuidado. Always look it up. Um, this is one of the ways that, that we can do it. I use, uh, yo, 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 por ejemplo, yo Cambridge. uso este que se llama Cambridge. Hay otro que se llama Webster's. Y tengo otro que se llama Lingui. Lingui. Porque it has like a Cambridge. double E. Ling, lingui. Is It's better than the other teacher? Well, you know, it, it, they, it depends. Some of them are really good. I like this one because you can listen to the UK sound. Oh, how, okay. how do they say it in England? So, so listen to this one, Madeline. Let, listen to this one. Let, let me put it. Let me play it for you. Sensible. 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 Todo inglés, ¿verdad? Sensible. 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 All right, so let, let's listen to it in American. Sophisticated. Sophisticated, yeah. So sophisticated. Oh, my God, you sound so sophisticated. Yeah, that's a really good way of using it. All right, so let me go play it for American. Sensible. Oh, it's my the goodness. Same picture. Really? No, no, no Marilyn. Oh, no. escucha, escucha. Sensible. Sensible. Hay como un cante, como que está cantando. Sensible. Mira, escucha. Sensible. Y ahora oh, escucha el americano. Oh, el americano. Sensible. Sensible. No hay canto. No hay nada. It's just flat. ¿verdad? No se escuchó. No se escuchó. Sensible. No se escuchó. Sophisticated. Sensible. Oh, yeah. Elegant. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. So from here, the video is pretty much complete, right? And then... Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens? There we go. In These are the three questions. How do you behave now? So here we go. Here we go. I'm going to ask you a question. And it starts out like this. And I want you guys to think about it, right? How did you behave in your teens? How did you behave in your 20s? How do you behave? And how do you, how did you be, well, you can't yeah, say you how did you behave change. now. You would have to change this one to how do you behave now? How do you? So, no, so I, I think you're, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, when you uh, speak with this, it's in past. But okay. now it's in present. And how did you behave now? Is it good? Well, you know, I'm going to say it's not that it's good or it's bad. I want you to think about how it sounds. So now, how did you behave in your teens? How does that sound in terms of phrase and structure? In how does past. that sound? It sounds okay, right? It, it, it makes sense. Oh, oh how okay. did you behave in your 20s? It still makes sense. But yeah. here we go, Maddie. If you say, how did you behave now? There's a little contradiction. Yeah. Because you're, tr because you're, yeah. Yeah, because you're trying yeah. to reference yeah. from the past and then trying to incorporate the now. So yeah. there's a little bit, so it doesn't sound complete. So remember, it's not that it's wrong or that it's right. Think of it as how does it sound? So here, to make it sound correct or to make it sound better, we would have to change the did. And we would have to say, how do you behave you now? Behave now. Now. How do you yes. behave now? And now it makes sense. It's better. All right. All right. All right. Good. So. So think of it like this. So imagine you guys were asking me, right? Let's say you guys were asking me, teacher, how did you behave in your teens? And then my answer would be, oh my God, I was crazy. I was really, really crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, no, no, no. I don't believe it, that. You don't, I, don't believe it, don't believe it. You guys, I, I didn't, you, I didn't. <laughs> You guys can follow up the questions. If somebody doesn't give you a definite answer, acuérdense, remember, we are talking American conversation y, y, y los americanos son metidos, 
right? Iba a decir somos metidos, right? Porque pues todos somos americanos. But, uh, all right, so, and so the idea is that you can leave it like that or you can continue digging a little bit more if you guys are not happy. What do you mean by crazy? You can say that. What do you mean by crazy? Oh, okay. well, I I got a lot of tattoos. I have tattoos. I like tattoos. And I, you know, when I was in my teens, I got a lot of tattoos. And so you could say it like that. Now, you how did you behave <laughs> in your 20s, teacher? Well, let me tell you that teens and 20s, it was just crazy. Right. So I behave oh, exactly. Crazy. Yeah. More I behave crazy. exactly the same. Yeah. More <laughs> crazy. Right. Or crazier. Yes. It just it just got worse and worse. And now we get to the final question. How yes. do you behave now? Oh, my God. Zero crazy. Like <laughs> the complete, <Almost> crazy. <laughs> yeah, the complete opposite of crazy. And so there's a, there has been a really big change, right? Now you can leave it like that, or you can always ask for something else or for more. You can say, What do you mean? Right? What do you mean by that? Or you know, what what made you change? You can keep digging by asking different types of questions. So um, for the benefit of time, we are going to cut it really short. And we're just going to ask. And you guys answer as quickly as, as you can. All right? So I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit sharing so that I can see your name. And I am going to ask you guys as you appear on my camera. So let me see here. I have, so we have at the very top, I have, I have Jose, Joe, Jose Mejia. Can you hear me okay, my friend? Teacher, is yes. your name? My, my name is Roberto Martinez. Robert, uh, okay. you, could, you could call me Robert, yeah. you can call me Bobby, you can call me Roberto. Bobby, the teacher. Bobby. Pero no, pero no, como el chucho, no me va a ver Bobby. Bobby, no, no, así, así, no. And, and I think that you are not relative Robert. to Nayib Bukele. Hey, you know what? I, they, they say that I look like the brother. Hey, yes. like the, it could be my brother. You look like Nayib Bukele. You look like Nayib. Like <laughs> 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 Teacher. Mira, y tomo el screenshot. ¿Quién te está dando la clase? Y acuérdense que ah, ya lo había mencionado, benevolente, así que no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Así somos nosotros. All right, here we go, here we go. Joe, Jose, yeah. you ready, my friend? Yes. Here we go. How did you behave in your teens? Well, I was uh, a little lazy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. How did you behave in your 20s? Um, in the 20s, I was more busy because I went to the university. I okay. had to uh, work in for a half. You know, um, was busy. Not, okay. not far for me. All right. How All do you work. behave now, Jose? Now it's like at the beginning, lazy because I, I don't have work, but maybe the next week I start working in the third shop. Nice. All right. Congratulations on that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much, Jose. Rafael, you're right next to me. So you okay. are going next, my friend. Rafael, how did you behave in your teens? Um, very crazy, I would say, because... Very crazy, I, all right, nice. Yes, we understand each other. I play soccer a lot, because my dream was to get to play soccer in the first division, so I used to spend a lot of time playing soccer. Okay, all right. How did you behave in your 20s? In my 20s, I dedicated more to study, because I went to the okay. university, so... I was Less crazy... Formal. More Let's study. Break. There we go. I like yeah. that. All right. And Rafael, how do you behave now? 
Um, I try to balance to those things. Sometimes I um, try to be a little bit more formal. Uh, for example, for example, in in the school, I try to be formal. <laughs> but All in right. my personal life, I always try to do crazy things in order to hang out. Okay? All right. Good. Good. Okay. So we're gonna put a we're gonna you know pido tai pido tai pido tai. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a timeout on this exercise and we're gonna continue it tomorrow. And we're gonna do the welcome, right? And hello, everybody. And then we're gonna start right into the questioning, and we are gonna keep on going with the with the follow up to to uh, the platform, which was 1.8 and 1.9. Please, please remind me about the exercise that I am missing, just in case I don't put it. Please remind me, hey, teacher, mire, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? What's up? What's up? What, what's up, Madden? What's up, teacher? <laughs> right? So, uh, because sometimes I, you know, I, I get caught up in things and I forget. So, yes, yes, Madeline. I am a teacher, too. And that is fantastic. Mira. You, if you see, if you see, uh, welcome to class is in my... The I, you know what? I actually I give, saw I that. Give English. I give English. I, in my I saw that. That is yeah. nice. Mira, mira. Y así va de, de un teacher a otro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Muchísimas gracias. Have a wonderful night. You Waiting too. for you guys tomorrow already. Thank Acuérdense you. que para mañana yes. es nuestro viernesito. Así es que pasen muy buenas yeah. noches. Teacher, Descansen. A, a yes. question, a question. Do you have a tourist uh, topics? A I, tourism topics? You know, I, 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 I think I do. Are you, did you join the WhatsApp, the group yes. in WhatsApp? Okay. Yes, do me a favor. Do me a favor, Madeline. Can you please send me a message and and, and tell okay. me to share it with you, and I will share it with you. Okay, because I need it. Okay. okay. Thank All you right. very much. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Acuérdense, voten por mí. Yes, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye bye.